What is good fam? You're here with Nate. This is Crossbeats Production and thank you for tuning in. I want to share with you guys how to set up Neutron 3 and the sidechain feature inside of the compressor or the dynamic EQ for that matter, but we'll stick with the compression for now and I'll show you guys how you set it up, what you do and how it all works. So let's go, let's get straight into this and uh, work from there. So we've got the plug in here. This is Neutron 3. I'm going to drag that across to my bass instrument. So I've got a bass which is called Sublab. Um, by the way, if Neutron, or I should say Isotope, want to sponsor me for this plugin uh, for doing this tutorial, I'd be happy to receive that. I haven't actually got Neutron 3, so I can't show a whole lot of tutorials on this, but um, anyone who works there or has any affiliation, let me know. Anyway, so we'll get into this. This is the demo version. I'm going to get a bit of silence every once in a while, but that's just how it works. So the plugin comes up. This is the advanced version, so I could separate each individual plugin if I wanted to, so I could get the individual compressor. But for this tutorial, I'll stick with the, the standard, just the plugin that you get as a stock one that gives you all of the plugins inside of one plugin, and uh, we'll work from there. So I'll X out the EQ because I don't want that for this particular tutorial. We'll click the plus button. We'll bring up a compressor. Now the setup is quite simple. Um, it takes a little bit of fiddling, but it's quite easy to go through. So the easiest thing is, I'll just relabel this as a kick or we'll just go drums. Uh, that's the easiest thing. So we'll get drums on that so we know what's going on. Now for the side chaining setup, you just pretty much hit side chain here. That's the little button on this little uh, plugin. Any plugin that gives you the ability to side chain into will give you this function available here. So then from there, you pretty much hit this little tab and that allows you to check the sources that you want to put into the side chain. So you could put all of these or none or one which is what I'm going to do. So I'll put my drums into the plugin to tell that to sidechain into it. Now, this is Studio One for the pro version. Um, so if you're using the artist version and things like that, I'm not too sure if that has the ability to do all these things, especially not prime, but um, this is pro. So just so you know which one we're working on, this is the pro version, the most up-to-date version that they currently have. So uh, the plugin itself now knows that I want the source to be from these drums. So I've got the drum kit playing and all that sort of stuff is happening. And you'll see in a second what happens. But basically what I want to do is I'm going to get the attack down to one or 0.1 millisecond. We'll get the release quite fast because we don't need to have that holding on to the, the kick for too long. Uh, and we want it to release as quick as possible just to move the bass out of the way and do what it does best. So we'll go six to one, it doesn't have to be six to one, it's just a ratio I like to use as a starting point uh, to kind of get dip out of the way. So six dB down, one in, and uh, that kind of, that's how that works. No makeup gain, we're not looking at doing anything with that. So the threshold works as per normal, so your thre threshold will be dragged up or down like that, but we'll start that in just a second. So hit this little uh, button here on the right hand side, it's like a little tick box, and you hit side chain here. This opens up the ability to have a menu on this section here. So what we want to do is we want to go external full. Uh, so the external band is all of the things that are coming in from this uh, side chain. It's going to accept everything from there. So that allows the plugin to know that everything from the, the kick or the drum kit that I've got is going to come into the plugin, it tells the plugin to work as a side chain now, and it will push the bass out of the way when we need it to. So this is the compression settings here. So what we're going to do here is just play the track. Now you can see there, uh, I don't know if I can actually stop that. I might be able to slow it down, but on the meter, you could see that now the kick was pushing the, the uh, sound out of the way. We'll just reduce the sound here. So you can see on the meter here, we've got the kick pushing down the bass. Every time the kick happens, it pushes the bass out of the way and that allows the bass to breathe uh, when it needs to and it allows the kick to breathe when it needs to. Now this is a common technique that you use for um, obviously side chaining bass or a kick together. So the low end frequencies, so they're not competing with each other. Um, it's not something you wanna ha or you have to do all the time, but it's something that is most commonly done when you're trying to compete with frequency areas. So. Um, I tend to use, if I'm going to do this sort of thing, I might use an EQ to do this. So just so you know, um, you can do this with the EQ as well. It's a dynamic EQ. So if we were getting rid of the compressor, let's reset that. We'll bring this down here and uh, let's just say we want to reduce this particular area for this, uh, the bass area while it plays. So we're playing that, la di da di da and the dynamic section here allows side chaining. So we go dynamic 
on this. So this allows now, tells the plugin to have a certain threshold for that uh, dynamic EQ. Now, if you want to sidechain, now you have to hit sidechain to activate it. It's got internal or external. Right now we want to go for external because the plugin needs to hear what's coming from outside of it. So the kick source, so the drum kit. And let me, let me see what happens here. So now you can see the plugins reducing the, the EQ amount that I've set this to. So it's minus 60 or minus 80, whatever you want to have it at, uh, that sounds right to you. And it's reducing that sound as the kick plays. Just remembering the setup there, just go back and watch the video from the start on how I set it up. It'll pretty much break it down for you. And hopefully this helps you guys in getting a side chain and your EQ and all that sort of stuff working inside of Studio One with Isotope Neutron Advanced or Standard. Catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.